is enough. What's good, YouTube people? Um, today we've got a well, a pretty exciting one, and uh, this is the uh, the backbone uh, PlayStation uh, edition Android uh, version uh, controller. Um, apparently, according to the box, uh, it says backbone transforms your Android phone into a next level gaming device. Um, basically, you can do remote remote play um, using uh, your phone. It pops into the old in the middle of the old uh, uh, controller or slash backbone there, um, and you can do sort of remote play. Uh, you can remotely access your PlayStation Five, I think PlayStation Four as well. Um, so you can do a bit of gaming on the go, or even in your house uh, once uh, if someone's using using your TV. Um, but to be fair, I'll probably just kick them off the TV and uh, use my PlayStation 5. But this one, I'm quite interested to see how it, how it operates. Um, I like to use it on the go, uh, going to and from um, some gang business areas. Uh, I could use this to pass a bit of time. Um, let's open it up, see what we've got in the box. Um, I'll probably have to do a review of it in, in a separate video. But for the time being, uh, it's a very exciting moment. I'm going to open it up and we're going to give it a quick once over. If I can get into the box, there it is. Obviously, Sony, very well uh, packaged, as you would expect. Um, although it's not officially from Sony, um, but it's officially licensed uh, by Sony and PlayStation itself. Uh, I'd expect um, they don't put their name to uh, a product that's not top notch. Um, I've never heard of Backbone before. I uh, just came across it when I was basically looking for um, the new um, PlayStation Portable unit they're bringing out. Um, came across this one. Uh, the price on this one is. Uh, I think it was £99.99, so £100 basically. Um, I think in the United States is uh, $99.99. Uh, so you get a bit of a better deal over there, judging by, uh, judging on the current exchange rates. You know, who, who's to say what's what. But anyway, here we go. So uh, how do we get in here? We'll push it open. Slide this bad boy off. And you've got a nice uh, box there. Soft feel to that. Let's open it up. And there she is. There she is. Let's do the smell test. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I really shouldn't get excited about that, but there you go. Uh, straight out of the bat, you've got um, a QR code. Uh, imagine you've got to download an app for that. Uh, so you can turn it on your phone. Just pop that out of there. Um, basically, it gives you a few instructions. Uh, how to pop your phone in there. I heard from, from what I've seen so far, especially with um, iOS users, um, if you've got any kind of case at all on your phone, uh, you need to remove it. Otherwise, it's not going to fit. It's a bit of a shame for me because. Uh, I've got a Samsung S23 Plus. Um, that's got, I mean, a real slimline case on it. I'm really hoping that um, it will fit on there. I don't fancy, you know, if I'm on the train uh, going somewhere, I don't fancy popping that off uh, a couple of times a day. That'd be a bit of a pain in the old, uh, what do you call it? So yeah, we'll pop that out there. See how that feels. Mm, it was quite nice in the end. I think if you had um, quite a large phone as well, maybe the Samsung S23 Ultra or Note or on, something along those lines, I think it's going to fit quite well in there. Let's have a look if there's anything else in the box. Oh, no, put down there. There's a few, uh, a few other instructions in there. Play safe. There you go, kids. That's a life lesson there. Always play safe. Put 
So now we'll put the instructions back in the box for the time. Okay. We won't go over there. Right, a moment of truth. I've got uh, my Samsung S23 Plus and uh, I've got the backbone. Um, let's all keep our fingers crossed here. It's going to fit in, otherwise, uh, I'll be a very disappointed man. Right, here we go. Let's try and pop it in here. See if that goes in. Yeah, it doesn't look too good at the moment. Uh... Ah, hold on. Got a big success here. Yeah, so it looks like with a very slimline case, I think I think my luck's in. Put my lux in. There we go. How's it feel in the hand? The buttons feel. Don't know if you can hear that. Buttons feel nice. Apparently, uh, from what I what I got from uh, some of the iOS uh, users, they said the R2 button uh, over time does uh, start to go a bit funny. Uh, I guess it's the most used button. Um, how it feels at the moment is um, it's quite nice. There's a sl small depress on the R1 and L1 buttons. All the other buttons feel quite nice. And log uh, or the buttons there all click in, so that's all good. Yeah. So yeah. Great success. Right, I'm going to set this up and uh, I'll probably do a review in a, a different um, a different video. But that's, uh, that's the Backbone PlayStation Android version. And if you've got a case, I think you might be all right with that. Um, let me know uh, in the comments, anyone, if uh, what kind of case they've got and if their um, backbone does fit into it. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to give that um, a rating at the moment of around the way, just from the way it feels in the end. Now, also what I heard um, as well. If you're a man with larger hands, I like my good self, and it's the rubber gloves. Um, this uh, this could feel a little bit streamlined in the hands, which it does compared to obviously your PlayStation controller. Um, but what can you what, what, what more can you do on the go? Can't ask for more than that. But yeah, feels pretty good. Feels pretty sturdy. Feels in there. Uh, time will tell once I turn it on, if the, if the power's on and uh, everything works on it uh, as it should, then uh, it's, yeah, it's a pretty decent buy. I'd say I'd give that a rating maybe it's going to be at least an 8 minimum, maybe a 9 if everything goes to plan. But on the bottom now, obviously, you've got your um, you can plug in the charger on the go um, and your headphone socket. Um, or a UX port, whatever you want to call it. Um, for those of you, uh, well, those of you out there can't afford Bluetooth headphones, which uh, you know you can you can pretty much pick up a pair for like five pound now. So there's no excuse for that. Um, if you will. Oh well, in saying that, I mean some people got uh, a wireless gaming headset. Um, they can use that or a wired gaming headset you could probably use that in there uh, and uh, you know probably sound much better than uh, a cheap pair of Bluetooth headphones but yeah that's basically all the functions on it um, yeah so far so good plastic feels not too bad doesn't feel cheap as, uh, as, 
as much as 